Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Tata D. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. If you've been here before, welcome back. Um, I know that I have disappeared on the face of the earth or rather on the face of YouTube, um, but I am back. I'm so sorry that I keep disappearing on you guys. I'm hoping that I become a little bit more consistent because I am not loving my inconsistency. I am not. When I started on YouTube, I was always just like really like, I'm going to be the YouTuber that's going to be consistent. I'm going to be the YouTuber that's going to take this thing seriously. And then, you know, look at me now. I'm really, really going to try from this moment on to try to be a bit more consistent. I have got myself a brand new camera, which is super exciting, guys. I got myself um, the Canon G5X. It's like a little compact camera that is super cute, super cool, super small. Nothing too crazy, nothing too intimidating because I am not somebody who's super tech survey who is like a camera girl whatnot so i wanted really something that's not going to be too intimidating and that's not too busy that is going to be really easy for me to kind of learn as i go yeah my what do you call it what is the camera um the camera term for it my monitor or my viewfinder what is it anyway yeah my way i see myself is on the side so forgive me if i keep checking to kind of see if i'm still in focus or if i'm still you know looking cute um so do forgive me if i keep doing that so yeah i got myself a brand new camera which i'm super excited about i mean Every single time a YouTuber gets their first camera or transitions from their smartphone to a camera, it's always super exciting. And now I feel like a real YouTuber. So I think now I'm going to be a lot more consistent. And I am now starting to think about incorporating some vlogs in this channel because that is something that you guys have been requesting for such a long time. And I'm finally feeling like now that I have a camera, I'm going to start doing those but you know with vlogs I always feel like something interesting really should be happening for me to kind of take you guys with me you know because a lot of the time I'm home with my child and a lot of people have been saying yo man that's what we want to see we want to see you home with your child just the cuteness of it all so that is what I'm gonna start vlogging so I hope you guys are going to enjoy that I know you guys have been requesting that for a while now so I'm definitely gonna start doing those so in today's video, I just wanted to sit down with you guys and just really have a just an open chat about something that, you know, I wasn't aware of the gravity of it until it happened to me. And yeah, man, what I'm talking about is mom shaming. Yesterday, or was it this morning, I watched the latest Red Table Talk where they're talking about mom shaming. They invited the plus size supermodel um, Ashley and Jessica Alba. Um, on the show and there was a psychologist as well and they were just discussing mom shaming and it really triggered me a little bit because it made me think about the experiences that I've had when it comes to mom shaming. So I put up on my Instagram about my experience with mom shaming, some of the things I've been mom shamed for and then I got overwhelming results from all kinds of moms just talking about how they also have experienced mom shaming and it really really made me feel so sad. It's like such a sad thing to go through especially when you're a new mom and you're already second guessing everything that you do you have a lot of mom doubt you have guilt and everything that you do you're just not sure if you're doing the right thing i just feel like the added criticism and the added bring you down thing is just not helping at all it just contributes to your anxiety and to your self-doubt so i just really really think it's disappointing and especially now as Botswana, I just think that Botswana we just have the culture of Khosota, you know? Like, and it's just so sad. Like, we shame people for literally everything. We body shame, we slut shame, we fat shame, we are homophobic. We just make it... Sometimes I just feel like we normalize just saying things just out of our, you know, hoo-ha. And we don't really think about how these things are affecting people. So I just wanted to share with you guys some of the ways I've been mom shamed, how I've dealt with it. 
for me luckily i haven't really experienced a lot of mom shaming online or on social media i experience most of it with strangers when i'm out and about or with my family and friends sometimes you know they don't really realize that they're doing it um until like i maybe say something like um I don't think that is your place to say or you don't know my child as well as you think you do i think i know what's better for my child and that's when they'll be like oh sorry i didn't mean to oh i'm sorry uh, uh, you know what i mean so a lot of the time some people think they're coming from a good place but really it could be really triggering for a mom who's already second guessing themselves so the first time like i was saying i have dealt with mom shaming was before i actually was a mom um, but i think you're really a mom the moment you find out you're pregnant really but yeah it was people who were commenting a lot about me sharing my experience that is one that i get a lot even up to today is where people really come at me for posting um about my pregnancy posting what i'm going through posting my son just a picture of my son i got mom shamed for posting him too early i've got mom shamed for posting um too much i've got mom shamed for posting my bare belly i've just got mom shamed so much about posting about just being a mom on social media and i understand that it's a very new thing especially in our culture Botswana. it's not a thing that a lot of mamas do whether out um outspoken or that forthcoming and open about that journey with motherhood it's not something that is typical even if it's not just in social media just in everyday life people don't really talk about the things that mothers go through or what motherhood is really like so i understand that it makes some people uncomfortable coming out here and stuff like that and there are people who believe in like bulloi or witchcraft who think that when you share your fortunes or when you share your joys too much um it makes people you know wish badly upon you and some people come from that place of concern when they talk about me posting him um or posting about my experience another way that i've been mom shamed before i actually got um before i actually gave birth was me wanting my partner to be in the room when i was giving birth that is a very controversial one here it's in the western culture it is so normal it's even abnormal to not have your partner but here y'all it is the most jarring thing for people to comprehend that you would want your partner there with you when you give birth like even the nurses at the hospital gave us the eye when we were doing our hospital tour and they were like you want this guy to be there when you're giving birth you know they're gonna see everything they're gonna you know it was it was such a challenge for me because every single time I felt like I had to explain myself why. But then I felt like it shouldn't, I shouldn't have to explain this. It's so straightforward. We are in this journey together. We want to experience all of it together. I don't see what is so mind boggling about it. But also at the same time, I get it. I understand that it is not typical here. It's something that is new. Um, not a lot of people are doing it, especially older people it really blows their mind that Junita was holding my other leg up when I was pushing Rue out. You know, it really blows people's mind. Like, I would even want that for him. They think it's going to change everything. It's going to change our sex life. It's going to change the way he looks at me. It's going to change the way he looks at the child. Everything is going to be super crazy. And then when you top it off by telling people that he cut the umbilical cord, oh my gosh, people are like, what were you thinking? Like, seriously? This is a big thing. People are like, I would never let somebody see me down there. I don't even want to see it down there. I don't know how you did it. And some people are like, that is the worst thing that you ever did and whatnot. And some people would even be like, hey, you guys maybe are acting like it's okay or he's acting like it's okay. But um, chances are maybe he is struggling with it and he still dreams about it or thinks about it. And I'm just like, I don't care, you know, it was his child and it was coming out of me. He did this to me. We did this together. So he's going to see this. Uh, so, yeah, man, I just feel like 
it was just a weird thing for people to just be so bothered with especially because i wasn't asking anybody else i wasn't asking anyone who didn't want to be there to be there he wanted to be there you know what i mean oh the other way that i've been mom shamed is oh, i've talked about this already is sharing my my son's picture too early the first time i posted my son on social media he was about two months excuse me he was about two months old and for a lot of people that was too early because also for a lot of people nika san tsike le motsetsi and le gore o tsontse re ka ba dule mo ntlung was a problem because the first time i posted him on social media we were out and i was holding him out i was dressed up you could clearly see gore re dule mo la ping and a lot of people were just like girl ha ba tsona ro tsaka ngwana mo ntung ha ba tsona gore o bontsha ba thongwana se ntsa le monyenyane ha le under 3 months kana ke ngwana ngwana wa ilelwa all those things and this was coming from you know people that i knew people around me not like on social media or anything everybody on social media was like crazy supportive were excited to finally meet him because i shared my pregnancy so much and people were just excited to finally see him but people in my life were like no man like you're doing too much calm down you're doing too much. I remember one time I was in a restaurant as well. I think it was Wimpy. And then we were just there for a short while to just grab something to eat and leave. And I was with Ru and Ru's dad. He was about two months old that time. And then we, right after we finished eating and everything, as we were leaving, a man spoke up. Actually, he wasn't speaking to me, but he was speaking loud enough and he was audible enough in a way that I knew that he probably wanted me to hear him. He was said something like, "Hey la, manolo munye thata gore nka ba dule mo laping." And I was like, "The nerve. You don't know me like that. You don't speak like that." And I didn't even say anything to him because like, why bother? Then I told Junita and then he was like, "Really? He said that?" I'm like, "Yeah." He said that, like, and he was like saying it in a way like I can't hear a thing. That is exactly what that man wanted. Another big one that happened, actually, this happened twice, was when we were at the mall. I understand that it's during it was during a pandemic. But then there was no way that we could leave the child at home. So we went to the mall to get some some necessities or disc cam. And when we were in disc cam, in disc cam they allowed us to get in um, the shop with the baby. In other shops, I understand they didn't let babies in, which I understood we would stand outside while one person would get in. But where we would get in, uh, so when we got to disc cam and we got in, um, there was a lady and then she looked at me, she was like, this is one thing i'm like hey no actually she was like oh and then which i don't even know why i felt the need to explain myself and i was like no so there's nothing that i could do but to bring him and then it's like because I was I was with Junita. I was like, oh, right? And then ah, uh, I was just like, but both of us wanted to come in, and I don't think it's any of your business. I didn't obviously say this out loud because it was an older woman, and I didn't want to be disrespectful. But in my head, I was like, Ugh. and then I just shrugged it off and laughed it off, and I was like. I'm sorry for triggering you. It's like, can I expose her? I understand her concern, but it was not any of her business. I just really, really think that it's really bold of people to come up to people and just say things, you know? I just think, like, there are some things you can think, but you don't necessarily have to say them to people. Like, it's not your place, you know? I just feel like it was super uncalled for and it was unnecessary for, 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 for people, for her to say that or to do that. I've gotten mom shamed for sleep training rule because people don't want to even begin to understand why I would let my baby cry and just not pick him up and comfort him and whatever. I've also got mom shamed for breastfeeding. Like, why am I breastfeeding? It's going to ruin my boobs. My boobs are never going to look the same. I'm still young. I still need the boobs to look perky and cute and breastfeeding is going to ruin them. I've gotten mom shaming for not breastfeeding, for stopping to breastfeed early. That The reasons that I decided to stop breastfeeding 
are not good enough which is mean which means really i'm doomed either way like doomed if i don't and doomed if i do i've gotten mom shamed for the way that i dress when i was pregnant and after i was pregnant apparently there's a way that mama's dress and i'm just not doing it right which is like pew, like people have personal style it doesn't come with you being a mom or not i don't like to wear like maternity looking type clothes or maternity looking type dresses i don't like to dress a certain type of way and i shouldn't have to change that just because i'm a mom it's not fair you know what i mean so mom shaming is real it's big it's here and it's annoying af like it is the worst thing it's so sad that we deal with all of this but then i thought about myself before i had a baby i was like you know, I think I remember a few times I was mom shaming a little bit. But the difference with me is that I wouldn't go up to somebody and really kind of tell them off or anything like that. Or try to act like I know more about their baby than they do know. I would just think it and move along. You'd be very, very shocked that a lot of these mom shamers are moms. Like Ashley Graham on that Red Table Talk said something really, really profound that I thought is like, oh my God, yes. When she said mom shamers are just mean girls who grew up to be moms and i'm like yes 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 that is exactly what this is it's just mean girls who are having their own insecurities and they are imposing those insecurities on you if you are happy as a mom and everything that you're doing makes you happy makes you comfortable is good for your mental space then you're doing it right like mom instinct is something that i believe so much in that when you give birth to that baby it just kicks in right away. You'll be so surprised as how much you would already know on how to deal with that baby. You are the mom. You know best. So do not let anybody tell you any different. Like, you are the one who is the most caring for that child, the most invested in that child. And it is bizarre to me that anybody could even think that we do things to harm babies or we are not thinking about these things and stuff like that but also on the flip side guys if you find yourself even thinking about mom shaming please just think about how this could affect people like i said earlier in this video as new moms or as moms really we are still second guessing ourselves we have doubts in what we're doing we're just like winging it really and it's scary it's really really scary and when somebody comes up to you and adds on by criticizing and just pulling you down, it does not help. It adds to postpartum depression and anxiety and it adds to your just, your, your unhappiness, you know? A lot of the time, yeah, you can shrug it off and just be like, whatever. But at the end of the day, some of these things affect us, especially, especially if they're coming from our close family and friends. It really, really affects us because you're just like, I'm really doing all that I can and the least that you could do is just be supportive and have compassion and give me some grace because I am doing the best that I can. I do not need this criticism. That is all I wanted to say in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you found it useful or helpful in any way. And yeah, man, if you know a mom or you know somebody who's pregnant or you know somebody who'd be interested in my channel, please do share my channel. Um, I would really, really appreciate that. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.